So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. So I'm going to read this question one sentence at a time, stopping between sentences to make sure I understood what I just finished reading, and write down any quantitative information as I go along. So the first sentence here says, a sample of oak has a density of 807 kilograms per cubic meter. All right, so uh, D for density, oak, density of oak is equal to 807, and probably don't need the unit, but I'll just write it, kg is for kilograms per cubic meter, so meters cubed is cubic meter. The next sentence says the sample is in the shape of a cube where each edge has a length of 0 0.9 meters. Okay, so cube, I'm just gonna draw it because I like the visual, and each edge is 0 0.9, 0 0.9 meters per edge, right? So length, width, and height. To the nearest whole number, what is the mass in kilograms of this sample? Okay, so obviously we're going to need to keep the unit kilograms, but get rid of the unit meters cubed, and we're gonna to need to use what we've been told about the edge lengths of this cube of the sample in order to get there. So I see that each of these is a meter. So 0 0.9 meters cubed is the volume. So the volume is 0 0.9 cubed. So 0 0.9 times 0 0.9 times 0 0.9 is equal to 0 0.729 meters cubed. So there is the volume, right? So how did I know I need to use volume? Really, I didn't necessarily know. I just knew that I needed to get rid of this unit. Now, if I thought about it in a different way, I should have known because um, density times volume will give you mass. So that's also a good thing to know. So D for density times V for volume is gonna give you the mass, right? And again, that's just based upon units. K, J per M cubed in this case multiply by m cubed for volume, and of course the m cubes cross out, and you're left with kg for mass as the unit. So now that I know that value, I can just take, I can basically do what I have here. So I have 0 0.729 meters cubed times 807 kilograms per meter cubed. Meter cubed crosses out. I go to my calculator and I multiply 0.729 times 807 equals 588.303 kilograms, which means my answer must be choice A. It must mean that I wasn't trying to find the full answer. Yep, it says nearest whole number, which exactly would mean that that's gone. So 588 is the best answer here.